Good morning, happy Tuesday. We are going to make some coffee. I'm gonna make a protein coffee. So I have this new flavor of the Premier Protein. This is the cinnamon roll. And these ones are actually only two net carbs. So it's three total carbs and one fiber. No added sugars, just one sugar. And it has 30 grams of protein. So I figure with me not eating very much these last few days since I've been sick, <coughs> excuse me, um, it would be good to have this protein. So normally I'll either brew like two shots of espresso, two or three shots, depending on how big I'm putting it in. Um, but I have some of this cold brew concentrate to use. So I thought I would go ahead and use this. Um, and it's and it's just a concentrate. So normally you put two parts of, or one part of cold brew and two parts of water or milk. So I'm gonna do, I don't know. Maybe I should put the, okay, I don't know. I'm gonna put the, protein in first to see how far it filled it up but I think I'll put this much coffee and then we'll fill the rest up with the protein we'll see how far that fills it up oh yeah I think that was good All right. I should have left a little bit in there so I could try it on its own but let's try it That's really good. That cinnamon roll is really good. Yeah, it tastes just like, I mean, just straight up cinnamon roll. Yeah, definitely really, really good. And this is French vanilla flavored. I was I was hoping I'd had some regular, I have the French vanilla of this and the toasted coconut. I got it at um, Grocery Outlet. I really wanna try the toasted coconut. I see people talking about the toasted coconut from Walmart, but they only come in K-cups and um, I don't have a Keurig, so um, they don't have it in like their ground coffee, which is a bummer. I wonder why not. I wonder why they only put that in the K-Cups. Super weird. Anyway, so this will be my breakfast, and I will chat with you guys later. I have to get to work. Okay. Oh, my God. I just got out of like two video meetings. No, I had three video meetings, and look at me. <laughs> oh, well. Everybody knows I'm sick. Anyway, so I'm having some tea. This is the Tazo Zen Tea, the spearmint and lemongrass. I think that's what it's called. It's a green tea and it's delicious. I think for lunch today, I've actually been um, doing pretty good eating and my stomach has not been nauseous at all. The nausea seemed to only last the first few days. So um, I think I'm going to make like a lettuce wrap. I, I don't want anything like super heavy though. That's what I've been trying to keep things very like as light as I can. Um, so I think I'm going to have a lettuce wrap with um, some lunch meat and cheese. And then I think I may use some of those cut to carb um, tortillas or flatbreads and cut them into um, tortilla chips and fry them up and have make some like guacamole or something because that sounds really good i don't know why i've been like craving like chips and dip i don't know what it is anyway i think i may make that so i will show you how i put that together um if that's what i end up having you guys know that things change day to day i mean day to day minute to minute <laughs> with how i feel so um but yeah we'll see that'll probably be my lunch i am taking half of one of these cut to carb uh flatbreads it came it when I logged it, it logged as five net carbs, so it's nine for the whole thing. I um, put them in a little bit of avocado oil, kind of just sprinkle a little bit of avocado oil all over them and put them into my air fryer. I'm going to cook these at 400 degrees. I'm going to start with five minutes and see how that turns out. I whipped myself up a little bit of guacamole. I used some cilantro, some lime juice, onion powder, garlic powder, and just mashed up some avocado. And here's how the chips came out after five minutes. So watch these really closely because they are so thin, but they are so crispy. They turned out amazing. I've never used the cut to carb for tortilla chips and they turned out so good. Um, I'm going to make a wrap for lunch. So I have my romaine, I have some turkey breast, some pastrami, some gouda cheese, mayo, and this is what I came up with. So I like to put parchment paper around the wraps. It just helps um, kind of wrap it a little bit because romaine can be a little bit hard to um, roll up sometimes. Iceberg lettuce really works out really well for 
um, wraps, but I do like romaine better. It's a little bit crunchier. So this is my final lunch. Look at it. So good. This was such a good lunch. I could have this um, at several times a week, which I may do that. And then for dinner tonight, I made some stuffed peppers. I did record this recipe, so you will be seeing this um, in a later dinner video. But I had one of those with a side salad that I did add some blue cheese to. So this was a really good day of eating. It feels really good to be back on track, back to eating, even though I'm still not feeling the greatest, but I'm getting there. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.